Welcome to Cheaper Than Dirt Videos. I'm the old man, and I'm going to show you in each video special tips that will help you be more efficient to landscaping. Alright guys, I'm going to give you a review on the Toro Time Master 30 inch mower. Uh, you can see that this mower has had a lot of use. I've had it for about a year. Uh, it does have one major issue that I've noticed is the blade drive belt. Seems to snap quite often. I've had it for about a year and I've gone through five belts. Um, fortunately, it only takes about 10 minutes to change it, but it's very annoying. Um, I've also had another issue with this mower, uh, this uh, kill switch. Um, the wires came loose. I had to re-solder it, uh, so that was a major problem. I couldn't get it to shut off. Um, if you have that issue, there is the spark plug right here. Just be careful because it's right next to the muffler. So make sure you have gloves on. If you can't shut the mower off, you got to pull that. Fortunately for me, I was able to wiggle these wires around enough to to stop the mower, and then I was able to fix it. Um, another issue I've had about six months after I had it, this uh, pulley cable system right here, that broke, and I had to replace it. Um, normally when you buy it, this handle this is facing this way so you're pulling it you're pulling it right towards this so what happens is you start pulling it outward and that frayed this little there's a little metal piece that goes right here and when you're pulling it out like this it broke it off and i think that's what caused this to break so what i did is when i replaced it i replaced it with the handle so I can pull it straight out. Well, this one's missing the, the metal piece again, but it, it hasn't really caused me any issues. So when you install a new one, or if you get a new one, I would just go ahead and turn it. Unscrew this, this bolt, or this screw and this screw there. Undo it and just turn it so you're not pulling it right up against this uh, rail. Um, All right, here's the old pull string right here. Normally when you buy a new mower, it's, it comes like that. So you can see your handle is going straight into, straight into this bar right here. So what happens is you end up pulling it to the side and you can see where it was cutting through and cutting through the line just eventually cut its way through. And so then when I replaced it, you can see I have it out this way. So instead of pulling it towards towards the bar, you pull it straight out away from the mower. And that's helped a lot. It's lasted a, a lot longer doing that. But uh, it's an easy repair though. You can see it's one unit, just fits on there. Uh, this mower is really good at mulching, as long as you stick to the one-third rule. Once you get above the one-third rule, you have a really hard time bagging, really hard time mulching. If the grass is wet, it doesn't like to do either. Uh, it does have this nice lever here, which allows you to lift these handles up for storage. So you can store it right up against the inside your garage, store it up against the wall, like that, keep it out of the way. Uh, this is also very useful for if you have to tilt the mower and work underneath it. When the handle is in the upright position like that, it will keep it from falling over so you can work on it. Another issue with this mower is it collects a lot of grass, especially when it's wet out. 
So you have to constantly cleaning that out. And this is this is your uh, transmission belt. I've never I've never had that one break, so I have never had any issues with that. But right back here, this is the belt for the uh, the blade drive system. That's the one that snaps quite often. Uh, that's the major complaint that I have with this mower is that drive belt. Uh, another issue with this mower, it's a little bit hard to start. Got to really pull on it, especially once you first start in the morning. Take, sometimes it takes three or four. I did post a video of changing the drive belt. Okay, this Toro engine is a little harder to start than a Honda. A Honda generally starts on the first pull with very little effort. Uh, this engine takes a lot more effort. Uh, what I do is I put my foot up against the rear wheel so the lawnmower doesn't roll backwards. And I pull it out just a little bit and I get both hands on it and pull really fast. It's almost like a golf swing. Now here's an issue with this mower. Uh, it collects a lot of grass, a lot. And so when you're mowing, depending on how wet it is, you have to constantly clear this out. Otherwise you leave grass clods everywhere and it looks awful because it drops a lot of grass. And so if it's raining or if it's grass is really wet, you just have to clean this out. Sometimes you gotta do it in the middle of a job. You just gotta stop and clean it out. Um, it may just be an Oregon issue because it's always raining here. Grass is always wet, but uh, that's something that you just have to do. And you can see how much came off of there just from doing a small yard. Uh, you can see there's a lot of wear on the front tires. Not sure if that's quality issue or if it's just from me using it because I use this mower average about 10 yards a day during the peak season. And um, so that could be why that looks so worn. Uh, this mower has a nice feature here. It's got one lever that operates the, both front wheels so you can move it and select it to the level that you want. Uh, they've got a marked A, B, C, D, E, and here's F and G uh, for the different levels. I usually keep it on E. That seems to work the best for me. And then for the rear wheels, same thing. There's a lever here off operates both wheels. Very simple to use. But uh does have this plug here for mulching. Um, I think one of the reasons why it has a hard time bagging is because this chute this chute right here is so long and deep that I think the grass just doesn't have enough force to make it into the bag, especially when it's when it's wet out. Might as well just not even try bagging if it's wet. Uh, here's your air filter. Super easy to, to get out and replace. Uh, you can see how, you can really see how dirty this one gets. Uh, look at all that. Yeah, I need to shake this one out. Clean this up. Pretty dirty. That's probably maybe two months worth. I let it go a little too long. But uh, yeah, what I do is I just uh, run it, shake it out, run it, run this this uh, outer filter, run that through hot water, clean that, shake the other filter out, and make it last a little longer. Um, I probably. I may end up replacing this one. I'll have to take a look at it. 
All right, so I shook the filter out, banged it around a little bit, got all the loose dirt off. So I'm going to just put it back in here and use it for a couple days and then change it this weekend. Um, it's just too dirty to try to save it. But there you go. That's the air filter. You can see the fuel filter is easily accessible. Uh, this mower is equipped with a personal pace system. Basically, you're just going to squeeze, squeeze this handle together, and that controls your speed. Let's see if we can get it from this angle. Um, at first, it felt a little weird, but now it's super easy. It's very natural to use. Um, I actually kind of prefer that. Works good for me. Uh, here's your your blade engagement right here. So you just hold this down, and then you just squeeze this together and start mowing. Uh, another little annoyance that this mower has is this blade lock. Um, usually it has a blue handle, and before you can lower this, blade engagement you have to pull a lever here pull that lever first and then this one well I disabled that uh, I'm not telling I'm not saying that you should do that I just disabled it because it's unnecessary it's very awkward to use especially when you're using it all day it's much easier just to grab this and pull it back than to grab this pull it and then this just too much not necessary because when you let go of this the blades stop so that is an extreme annoyance right here just take care of, if you feel like it take care of it disable it um, I'm not going to tell you how because it's it is a safe it's probably a safety issue but when you're using it all day doing multiple yards it's just difficult causes more problems but uh it seems to have enough power if you stay within the one-third rule. Bagging is an issue with this one. Does not like to bag. If your grass is dry and you stay reasonably close to the one-third rule, it will bag and it will fill up nicely. But if there's any moisture on the grass, it will not bag. It will clog up in the chute. And then the deck will fill up and you got to tilt the deck up and clean it out. And it just causes more problems. So if you stay within the one-third rule, you really don't even need the bag because this is a really good mulcher. Uh, one, another drawback besides the blade drive belt on this thing is the weight. It is quite heavy. So if your grass is real soggy, you don't want to use this. You want to use your smaller Honda mower. Um, this one weighs quite a bit, pretty heavy. you got to have a ramp get it into your trailer or pickup truck you can't pick this up you're gonna hurt yourself so you got to have a backup mower a small one I use the Honda just in case you have to pick it up over a retain small retaining wall or garden beds to get it into the yard um, you're gonna need a smaller mower for that but other than that very efficient looks really good when you're done mowing nice wide stripes and uh, sharpening the blades very simple on this you can do it in less than 10 minutes dual blade system uh, they call it a 30 inch but it's really about 28 is your cutting area 28 29 inches and the nice thing is is the blades come out just barely past the wheels so you can run your your mower on the stripe that you did before and it will cut it with the Honda the Honda mower the 20 in, 21 inch mower is really probably a 17 inch mower because the blade deck the end of the blade is inside the wheel so you have to do much more overlapping so it's really not a 21 inch mower it's more like a 16 17 inch mower this one's pretty close to 30 inch 
mulches really well if you stay within the one-third rule when cutting grass. If you stay within the one-third rule, cuts really fast, very clean, very efficient. That's why I use this a lot. Uh, if you have tall grass, you're just you're going to have problems. It's just not going to work. Uh, for tall grass, I use a, a Honda mower, and I have another video out on that one. But this one, if you do cut tall grass, what I do is I, I lift this, this guard up. Of course, I got the mulching plug in there. But if you're going to mulch tall grass, take the mulching plug out. I put a bungee cord on this so it stays open. And then you can cut the grass and rake it up or blow it into a pile and clean it up that way. Um, that is a safety issue. I don't recommend doing that. But if you're in a situation where you have to do that, just make sure you have really good eyewear protection. Um, be aware that when this is open, all the debris is going to be coming out. So just be aware of that. When I bungee it, I usually have it about here so the debris doesn't come up to my face. But, but still, just be aware if you decide to do that on your own. Um, it will throw stuff on you. When you first start mowing, first start your business, you want to get involved with, with yard maintenance, this is the mower you want to get. You want to get the Honda HRX 217. Best mower out there, $700 if you buy it from a Honda Power Equipment dealer. Uh, if you buy it from Home Depot, I believe it's 730 Not much of a difference. So that is the mower I recommend for those that are just starting out. This needs to be your first mower. Once you get enough clients, starting to get pretty busy, need more efficiency, then I would go with the Toro Time Master 30-inch mower. Um, of course, you do have the higher maintenance with the other mower. Uh, the blade drive belt does break but uh your efficiency goes way up if you uh, stay within the one-third rule on cutting this mower is so much faster than your standard 21 inch mower i use a honda 21 inch which is probably the best mower out there for 21 inch and uh, this one cuts so much faster uh, if you stay within the one-third rule it's very clean looks really good you don't even see the clippings if you're mulching and you've got lots of yards this will definitely help you get it done quicker i would say it's at least 30 percent faster could be more um, your first mower if you're just starting out you want to get the honda don't bother with anything else just get the honda at 700 dollars but uh once you get established you got plenty of yards and you become more efficient get to one of these toro time master 30 inch mower Let's see, I believe I paid $1,000 for this, free shipping, got it from Home Depot. Just because it's a high maintenance, that belt is a problem. Uh, very annoying, it breaks about every two to three months. Uh, that's why I give it a seven. It does not do so well with wet grass. If you're mulching within the one third rule, it will gather up under the deck, but you can still finish the yard, looks good, and you just clean the deck out once you're done. So that's why I give it a rating of 7 out of 10.
thank you for watching Cheaper Than Dirt videos. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, which helps our small channel be noticed. Thank you.